The Minimalist Movement is infiltrating every part of your life. And with the 333 Project by Courtney Carver, it's even getting to your closet. What's the 333 Movement? It's wearing 33 items for three months. But paring down your closet to only 33 items can be difficult. This would be nice. So we enlisted in-house stylist Elise Johnson for her tips and tricks. First up, starting at the bottom, shoes. The thing that you want to keep in mind with shoes is you want them to be comfortable. Guys should reserve at least three for boots, dress shoes, and everyday sneakers. For women, you're definitely going to want to include a pair of heels, a pair of flats, a pair of boots, even a sneaker, because you might wear that every day, which means it counts. Next, moving on up. Pants. You want to have five pair of pants. Within that, at least three pairs of jeans. And I would do a black pair, a distressed pair, and a darker wash. That way you can dress them up or down. And third on the list, shirts. How many shirts do we need? So anywhere from eight to ten, okay. because you need a couple button-ups, you need a couple t-shirts, and two to three sweaters. And keep it simple. This is an area where you really want to make sure you're staying in solids. It's so tempting to get a print, but a print is going to limit the versatility of the item. And last but not least, something that really packs a punch, accessories. This is where you really want to splurge, because okay. this is what's going to make your outfit look different. Non-negotiables that count are a belt, sunglasses, and for ladies, a purse. You can do a statement necklace, you can do an earring for girls, you can do a bracelet, a ring. A guy's probably going to splurge with the hat, so the hats count. And of course you're going to want coats, but how many? Check out the listtv.com for Elise's complete breakdown of 33 items for women and men. Those are nice. Well, Les gives you more, even in your closet, on the stylist.